Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So I literally cut my hair off and dyed it really brown. So like, what do you mean? I know it's so different right now. I'm going to the hairdressers today and I'm going a little bit lighter because I feel like it is super dark and I want it a tiny bit lighter. So yeah, I cut my hair off. I will show you guys how short it is at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to see that. But in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a five minute drugstore makeup look because I haven't done anything really simple for quite some time. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I've already gone ahead and cleansed and moisturized my face and I let that sit in just so anything we put over the top isn't gonna like move around too much. So that's all ready to go. Now I'm gonna go in with primer and I'm using the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer. So I'm just gonna use this to smooth out my skin and also to make sure my makeup stays on all day. I'm so happy that I actually had the balls to cut my hair off. I was on my way to the hairdressers and I'm like, I was supposed to just be getting like a bit more blonde in my hair, my long hair. And I was like, you know what? I'm so over having long hair because I never do anything with it. I literally just chuck it up all the time like this. Um, and I just wanted to be able to curl my hair and for it to not to take as long. And honestly, I had long hair since I was great. Like literally my whole life. I've always had long hair and I'm like, I need a change. Like what is going on? So cut it off. <laughs> All right, my skin is ready for foundation. I'm gonna start using some brands that I never really use. So today I'm taking the Nude by Nature Flawless Liquid Foundation. This one's in the shade Classic Tan. And I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand and then go in with their buffing brush. And we're gonna make our face look absolutely flawless and match it to my fake tan on my neck. Oh my gosh, I love that color. That's literally perfect. <laughs> it's finally happened. I've matched my face to my neck without it looking horrible. <laughs> this one has really good coverage and it is super quick drying. So you want to make sure you blend it in nice and quick. So this foundation is perfect. Oh God, I have a bubble in my throat. It's perfect for you guys that have um, sensitive skin because there's no nasties in there that makes your skin react badly or anything so there's no like fragrances or silicone or anything like that which is perfect and if you do want to build up the coverage you can just go in with another layer and just dab on that product to build it up so we can hide all those imperfections i can't remember the last time i actually used a foundation that had all natural ingredients like what this is amazing maybe i should start doing that more often because my skin has been breaking out so bad around this area Oh, I'm so over it. So today at least we can use something that's good for your skin. Okay, so now let's move on to getting rid of these bags under my eyes. So I'm going in with the Nude by Nature Flawless Concealer in the shade 03 Shell Beige. So we're gonna really camouflage these bags under here. So I'm just going to pack this under my eyes. I love how my skin looks so natural still. I'm also going to put a bit on my eyelids as well because I have a lot of veins up there that I really want to cover. Even though I got a really good sleep last night, I have horrible dark circles today, so that needs to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with that concealer because it's not sitting in my fine lines like a lot of concealer does. Like under my eyes, it makes it look really wrinkly, so looks great. Nice and natural. Next up, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of powder right underneath my eyes. Just taking my beauty blender and patting that under here. Quick makeup looks are my favorite because like I hate wearing heaps of makeup out. And it's really hot. And it's really hot, trust me. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder. This one's in the shade 220. So I'm just going to pat this all over my face to make sure everything is completely set down. So next I'm going to go in with this Ardell Sculpting Brow Gel. And I just want to use this to push my eyebrows up. It makes them look really, really full. If you do want to fill your eyebrows in, go for your life. I just um, have my brows tattooed on so I don't really need to when I'm doing like a very natural makeup look. But this makes the brows look amazing. Really feathery and fluffy. Next up, I'm going in with bronzer and I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. I have the shade um, Sunny. I love this stuff so much and it's so affordable. So I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. 
And the brush that I'm using today, oh girl, it is the Morphe M403 brush. All the Morphe brushes are so affordable. So if you're looking for some new good ones, they're amazing. I'm just gonna take this around my forehead as well. Oh my God, I seriously can't get over my brown hair. It's so weird. I'm also just gonna take that down my neck a little bit as well. So everything matches perfectly. Next up is to go in with blush. So I'm gonna take this one from Essence. It is the Blossom Dreams blush in the shade 01 Call Me Coral. So this one's very shimmery. So I'm gonna use this as a, oh, oh, a blush and a highlight. So I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. It's gonna add a nice glow to the face. Ooh. So pretty, guys. I've seen something in my teeth the whole time. Oh my god, I actually can't get it out. It's stuck. Next up is to go in and curl my eyelashes because I literally have the shortest lashes in the world. So this just makes it that tiny bit longer. So I'm just gonna pump them a few times. Wow, that actually makes the biggest difference. <laughs> I don't know why, but my lashes have just shrunk, literally. No, they've fallen out in the past like three months. So they look bald if I don't do this. Next up is mascara time. So I'm gonna take this, the Balm Scuba. Oh, it's water resistant. No. Change of plans. I'm gonna go in with this NYX Faux Lashes Mascara and I'm just gonna coat my top and bottom lashes. Oh my God, this makes them so fluffy. Since everything else didn't take that long at all, I'm gonna go in with some lashes to make it looked like I've actually spent a little bit of extra time doing my makeup. So these ones are from the brand Holy Grail. These are actually like cheaper than drugstore lashes. They're very, very affordable. So I'm going to pop these ones on in the style of wispies. So they're perfect for like an everyday look, but you can definitely wear them out as well because they're very dramatic, but like still like fluffy. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and trim these down because my eyes ain't that long. I don't usually apply lashes for like an everyday look, but um, today I feel like it because... I'm looking a little bit bold with my brown hair. I need some blackness on my lashes. Oh yes, they're so pretty. Excuse me, Ben, I'm gonna run over your tail if you don't skirt. Next step is the lips. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. I've never used this one before. Oh my God, stop. I'm excited to see what this looks like though because I don't really know what pink works for me, but like it's a really pretty pinky purple. Oh, the applicator is really soft. Wow, very impressed with that. That looks really good. And the formula is like really light as well. Perfect for every day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish off the makeup look with some makeup setting spray. So this one is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. Oh. Okay, well, I guess it's time to go and fix my hair. So I'll be right back. Oh my God, this is crazy. So I really hope you guys like the video. I know my hair is so different right now, like, wow, and it's really short. How weird. Oh my God, let me go, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I'm gonna go get some blonde foils in it right now, just so it looks like a little bit more like me. Like, where's Shiny? Don't know. But I will leave all of the products that I used down below if you guys are interested in anything. I'm really obsessed with how this makeup looks though, like, I'm loving it. It's very natural with a big, big lash which is what I'm all about and then a really nice pop of color on the lips so I really hope you guys like this video I love you and I'll see you very soon Mwah.